Now, though, Liverpool slipped up in the title race yesterday as they dropped points away at the mighty Manchester United. Opportunity is going to come, and Darwin Nunez has put it wide. Absolute sitter. It's an wow. absolute sitter. Game on. We are in the middle of it, so that's how it is. So I know. But being in it is actually the best position ever. So and I, again, it's not only for us that it's that it's difficult. It is for the others difficult as well. Yes, it all makes things very interesting going into the, what the last seven games of the Premier League season. Finished 2-2. Uh, Paul Wintz alongside me. Firstly, into, what did you make of the game? I mean, it was quite bonkers, wasn't it? It was like a basketball match. Yeah, it was. It was like the um, previous game we played in the FA Cup, um, which, you know, for the neutral was great. You know, but um, I think, you know, Liverpool will be disappointed. I think when you kind of look at the chances that they carved open... Um, you know, they should have been feeling up at half time. The game should be put to bed. Um, so, you know, as much as, you know, Jurgen saying, yeah, it's a great point, you know, at Old Trafford, and it's always tough to go to Old Trafford, which is, you know, mate, night could be bottom of the Premier League. But if you go to the, if you go to Old Trafford in front of those punters, it's a daunting place to go. Mm. You walk down that tunnel and you see how high that stand is and how many fans. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You can see what they call it the Theatre of Dream. So it doesn't matter how mate United are playing or what form they're in. Any team that goes for OT, it's going to be a tough game for them. And that's why the first 45 minutes for Liverpool, they should have put the game to bed. They had enough chances um, to win a couple of games. And, you know, it's it, it, it's a great point for, for more for United than it is for Liverpool. I know Klopp's trying to play it down and go, yeah, well, it's, you know, they should be coming away from it. Yeah. And you shouldn't be saying that about a Mate United team, but that's where Mate United are at this moment of time. I was watching Matt today too last night, mm. and they, of course, were analysing the game. And mm. a lot of the emphasis was on the fact how poor Man United are. And we'll talk about their, mm. them in a minute, how poor the, their midfield is, players not tracking back, and so on. But why, when you look, you made a very good point. They had enough chances to win. They had 28 shots, Liverpool, mm. yesterday. Only seven were on target, and only two went in. Why is no one saying this Liverpool team, if you're having 28 shots and only seven on target, you're only scoring, that's not good. Why are people not talking negatively about Liverpool in the same manner that they are Manchester United? You know, you know it's, 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 it's great you said that because every time we always look at stats, and I, and I always look at stats, that you know, and you, and you see teams, 18 shots, three on target, 16 shots, two on target. Now, I, I think that there's a lack of quality. You know, if the, if the Mate United team of old... Well, the Liverpool team of old have had those amounts of shots. You'd like to think they've scored two or three goals, or if at least six or seven we hit the target. Mm. So what does that say about the quality that we actually got? I mean, you look at Mo Salah's one on his right foot. I mean, he's got to score. You know, he's three, four. No one says a word about it. You no. know what I mean? And he should have scored. He should have put the ball to bed. But if Rashford misses that... But that, that the people go absolutely mad. Yeah. You know, and, and obviously sometimes... Listen, mate, not is always going to be bigger news than anyone else. It, it always is. It's front page or back page. That's always the case, OK? Um, and people do like to have a dig at Rashford now and then. You know, I thought Rashford did okay yesterday. You know, I thought he really, really did. Um, but it's definitely two points dropped as far as I'm concerned, you know, from Liverpool point of view, but just makes the race a little bit more exciting now, doesn't it? Uh, it does indeed, it really mm. does. The, the the Man United manager, Eric Ten Hag, always on the back pages about he's going to be mm. sacked, no he's not, yes he is, Ratcliffe comes in, no, he's going to get rid of him, no he's not. What's your view on Eric Ten Hag? Do, do you think he's the right man to take United back to where they were when you were there under Fergie? <clears throat> the hardest the hardest thing I thought, you know, was replacing Sir Alex Ferguson. Like, I thought Mate Knight was always going to be a poison challenge for the next man that came in, and that was David Moyes, OK? I never thought I'd be sitting here now, eight, nine, ten years later, saying it's still a poison challenge for whether it's, whether it's Ten Hag or whether it's a, a, the new man who comes through the door. Um, I think, you know, we've wasted many, many years with the kind of managers that we've brought in and that's not, not being detrimental towards them but we, you know we brought in Van Gaal who's a bit of a kind of you know rules by the iron fist that's not the way to do it Fergie as Felix was a strong man but he, he you know he, he didn't he wasn't always hair dry treatment like everybody says he was people say oh, he, was just, he wasn't like that you know what I mean he was quite calm but when he had a go so Alex you stand up and listen he had a presence about him that word presence we keep talking about um, so and then Charles Girl comes in I obviously was one who said you know, you can't go from taking Cardiff down and managing Mould to managing the biggest club in the world. It's always going to be tough. And and we know what happened with Mourinho. So you kind of think we've wasted lots of years now to try and get where we are now. Ten Hag came in, we thought it was the answer, had a great career at Ajax. Um, it's all about 
recruitment, and I think we haven't recruited well at all. But I think Maitland haven't recruited well at all. They spent a lot of money um, on the, a lot of players who don't know how to deal with what, what it's like to be at Manchester. You know, what it likes to play for, what the fans demand week in and week out. And I feel sorry for him because he's come and he's tried to change things. Obviously, the Sancho situation didn't help. Um, you know that probably never would happen under Sir Alex Ferguson. But you can see he's tried to change things. And I look at Manchester United now, and I. I see moments. I see moments of hope. You know what I mean? That you think they can go the next step. They can go the next step. And um, you know, I think that's what I see at the moment. Magic moments like Sunday. You know, Fernandez won the goal. Mainu won the goal. You know, and then you see Brent for the week before that. You know, yeah. and um, that's where we. Are. It's so inconsistent. That, you how, know, how good is Kobe Mainu? He's okay. He's okay. Let's not get carried away. And I, 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 this is the problem, you know, because I, I actually personally, there was a time where he gave the ball away, and to fair Fernandez ran back sixty yards, sell out the shot, and Anana pushed it past the post. No one said a word to Kobe Mainu. If that had been me or Keeney or Gerard, he would have got absolutely roasted because you can't give the ball away in those positions. And and he did that. Yes, he's got a great goal. Yes, he's still young. Yes, he's got potential to be a very, very good player. But let's not just let's not go over the top. Let's not go over the top. As I said, because he's still, still young. Do you think he should be in the England squad? Well, like, listen. I think if you look at the likes of Phillips, you know, I mean, he hasn't really played a lot at Manchester City. Hasn't played a lot at West Ham now. Um, Kobe Man is playing all the time, and he's playing in the midfield. That is tough. You know, I went into the midfield where there was Neil Webb and Brian Robson and Roy Keane. You know what I mean? And even though I was still young, I had people like that who, who, who could nurture me and coach me. He's playing in the, in, in the midfield. That's absolutely all over the place. You know, they're all fragmented. There's so many spaces. It's tough for him as a young kid. Mm. So he's, he's definitely learning the hard way. And listen, if it was me, would I put him in England's side? I'm not too sure. Would he, would he cope? Yes, he would. OK, but you're not too sure as to whether or not he would go on the plane, you, you, let, you, let alone start? You, you, you always, he won't start. Absolutely no, no okay. listen, listen, I'm not Gareth Southgate, but I, I, I in do, your opinion, in my opinion, I, but I do see the situation. I see it with Paul Gascoigne and Giggsy, people like when they're young, people going over the top. Yeah, he's this, is that. Let's keep talking about him, and then they just wait to knock you down. I don't think is he ready for England, England national European football. I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. So throw him in. Um, but if you're talking about well, do I put him on the plane or to put Phillips on the plane then I'll, I'll, I'll put Kobe Maynard on the plane OK just going back to Eric Tenard because we mm. didn't get to the bottom of it do you mm. think he's the right man? Listen from what, I, from what I've seen you know we've said last three four years we've got to get closer to Manchester City we've got to mm-hmm. get closer to Arsenal now now it's Liverpool now all these other teams Tottenham are now starting to spend money we're now 6th 7th in the league so we're now really no nearer to, you know, to, to getting close to these teams and that was always the remit. Yeah, we've won a couple of trophies. Yeah, we've done well. Yeah, we've seen some signs where we could be good. But our inconsistency is, is, is not doing us any favour. So whether Jim Radcliffe's made a decision or not, I don't know. You know, I do feel sorry for Ten Hag. But as a manager, and I feel well known because I've managed enough games, sure. it's, it's not about results now. It's about how the team's performing. And, you know, I, I don't think the team's performing well enough. Okay. So do you think... I know, I, know, I, know, I know what you're trying to get out of here. I'm not going to say Ten Hag's to stay or Ten Hag's to go. He, he, here's but my he, question. He, he, he will know. I oh, know, but here's he, my no, question. He will know yeah. as a manager. He will hear all the rumours. You know I know, what but mean? here's my question. Got if in. I said to you, do you think Pep should stay at Man City? Is he good enough? You will go, yep. Well, I, 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 yeah. do, do I think Pep should stay at Man City? If he wins the title or wins okay. the Champions League, I don't think he will. I think okay, he'll no, move okay. on. Okay, <laughs> if I said, do you think Pep's the right man for Man City, you'd say yeah. Yeah. If I said that about Klopp, you'd say yeah. But they've proven it. They've had nine okay. years, So I'll years. ask the same question about Eric Ten Hag. Mm. But, but, but the fact that you haven't said yet yeah, leads me to believe the answer's no. No, I'm not saying the answer's yes or no. All I'm saying the next six or seven games that he's got to play could be pivotal in what decision Jim, Jim Ratcliffe makes. Okay. If, if Jim Ratcliffe phones you up and says, Incy, I need your help, you have the casting vote, should we stay with the manager or get a new one next season? What would you say? That be after me. I couldn't, I couldn't say that. I, I couldn't really answer that question. I think it'd be unfair to me to answer that question. Okay. okay. Let me ask you this: Does does he need to do something or not do something this season for that answer well, to be here, easier for you? For yeah. argument's sake, if United finish the season without a trophy and finish seventh, do you, will you say job's too big? If United win the FA Cup and get six, will you go? Actually, he, he should stay. Is it still up in? Up in the balance at the yeah, moment. I think, I, 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 I think you're right. I think it is still up in the balance. And I think, um, 
we've been talking results now. They're not going to get the Champions League place. You know what I mean? No. They're not. We know that. But they've got a chance of winning the FA Cup. They beat commentary in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. As you said, Maitland always has to be winning trophies. They have to be winning trophies. And Maitland like fans have still got hope. You know what I mean? Some, some are kind of despondent. Some are like, we need to change the manager. You know, I've got a mate of mine I go to the pub with from Devon Doorway called Gordy, and he's like, yeah, we've got a chance at Champions League. Keep the manager. We do this. You know what I mean? But we're still sixth or seventh. We're not competing for the title. And I feel that if we don't look, look like any closer to that by the end of the season, you've got to make a change. But how okay. many changes have we made? Yeah. You, Made four or five changes okay. already. Who's going to win? The, who's going to win the league? <laughs> you think you're funny, don't you? He's gonna, oh, he, no, I don't mean that from. A, it, will hope, it be Man United? I know it won't be. No, I hope, Who, I hope Liverpool win it. You hope Liverpool win it? Okay, it's not why I asked. <laughs> That's the answer to the question: Who do you hope will win the league? Do you, do you think they'll win it? I, I think um, Arsenal will win it. Yeah, me too. I've changed my mind. I, do, I think I just think defensively. They're, they're more sure than the other two teams, yeah. but I like. I want obviously I want Liverpool to win it at, at three. Okay, all right. On AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.